the chairperson, honorable judges, teachers, and friends. The power of women. I believe in the power of women. It's time we govern nations. Why? Men have done so for centuries and made a mess of things. War, famine, poverty, injustice, exploitation. All these continue to plague mankind. It's time for change, for women to walk in the corridors of power. We are not like men. They are aggressive and warlike and turn to violence to settle disagreements. The war machine, creation of man, works over time and everywhere. Intended to put an end to war, what does it accomplish? Greater destruction and more death. Violence begets violence and countries recover from one war only to prepare for the next. We are less argumentative, more cooperative, more peaceful. Being mothers and sisters, we hate war. War destroys. War steals our husbands and fathers. War swallows up our, do our daughters, our sons, and even our brothers. But we are not weak. Threaten us, put at risk our homes and loved ones, and we will fight to the very end to protect them. Against insurmountable odds, we will fight and overcome so that those we love may live in happiness, not die in anguish. And what is more intimidating to an aggressor than a mother fiercely defending her young? We are compassionate. We feel and we feel strongly for the weak, the poor, the dominated and the exploited. With the hearts of mothers and sisters, we empathize with the down children. While men learn to make war, we learn to promote life, happiness and contentment. Given the reins of power, we will divert resources to the economy, providing clean water, planting and harvesting crops, and doing all those other tasks essential to supporting life. We will not spend billions in training and equipping armies whose only purpose is to do the exact opposite. Take away life. Men squander and abuse their power. We strive to sustain life and raise families. Men offer repairs with oppression, exploitation and an utter lack of respect. In many places, Women live in dire need and in conditions close to slavery. We are deep and wealthy of a decent life. Put simply, we don't matter to them. But we matter. We make a difference. Give us a chance. Let us govern the world. Governments will be extensions of a loving family, providing for everyone. We will spread the love and care of a mother, and the entire world will be cradled in the gentle arms of women. I thank you. Now, we move on to contestant number 24. Ladies and 